Hi, I'm Callie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make cute, unique birthday cards such as this. We've got a little minion from Despicable Me, we've got Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, of course, and we have Spongebob, because who doesn't like Spongebob? And I just figured it would be nice to show you how to make these because, you know, birthday cards can be a little bit expensive, so I feel like it would be much better to just hand make one and it will be a lot more special to their heart. And these ones are cute. Who wouldn't want one of these? I mean, come on. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Alright, so what you're going to do is take your printed out characters, and I did Stitch, a Minion, and Spongebob, but you can do any character you want, and just print it off the computer in black and white. And for this, you're going to want some hard construction paper, and I took yellow for Spongebob. Orange for the Minion, because this little V's logo is in orange. And then I took two different shades of blue to match it. I'm just going to want to have some blue, some scissors, and some tape. And then I took a pen and a sharpie to write my cards out in, but you can do anything else you want. You could print out logos, and oh, I also did this in crayon, but you could do it in marker, paint, and whatever you want. And I want to start by taping off the sides. And just make sure that when you're cutting it out, you're not going to like make the edges come. I know when I cut and I don't have things taped, it'll start to get crooked and the paper is really mismatched with the tape. So, so just, I just tape along the sides. And you don't have to do this, but it would definitely make it so much easier. And then you're going to start cutting. And I went around the hairs because it's a little bigger to try and cut out. But if you really wanted to, you could definitely cut the hairs out. Just be very careful because they're very thin and they could break. And when you get to the part, like such as the hands and feet that are a little more detailed, I would just cut around that and finish cutting out the basic edges. And then you can go back to that afterwards. And it makes it easier so you don't mess up. So that's like you're going to mess up. And I cut around the feet. Because mm, it took a little much time and I didn't show you that, but basically just cut around the edges like you would. And now you're going to glue just the sides, and I wouldn't like put glue on it because it'll make the paper all bubbly and it'll be hard to like color. You could always color before, but either way, you don't want it bubbly, so put them on your finger and just slide it on there. Just so it's just enough to stick. And you want to keep doing this with all the edges. It can get a little bit messy, so you might want to have a cloth to wipe the glue off of, because you definitely don't want to get the glue all over the white part. Because when you're coloring it, it'll look a little messy. Or if it's already colored and you get glue on it, it'll still look a little messy. And that's so great. So I would definitely have a rag nearby. I was just wiping it on my carpet because I did not think of that, but I would not recommend that. And just keep going around until all the edges are done. And this takes a little bit of time, but it definitely makes it much cleaner than just going around with the glue and getting the edges and then having all the bubbly. It's not that great looking, and you want to make these cards look as nice as you can. Almost done now. Finally, that took forever, it feels like. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to attach the two sides of the card. And you can do this in multiple ways. I'm going to do it by gluing his arm that he's sticking in his hip, because I feel like that would be the best way. Uh, you can do it any other way. You can tape along the sides. And that will make it easier to open. I don't really like the tape as much there because sometimes you can see it when you open and it doesn't look as nice. I just glued the arms together and it looks pretty nice and it opened pretty well. Next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to color anyway. Like, like I said, I chose crayons. You could do it in marker. I didn't do it in marker because I didn't have marker on me at the time. I thought I had markers, but I could not find them. So I just chose coloring with crayon and it actually turned out pretty nice despite what I thought it would do. The coloring part definitely takes a long time, but it's probably the most fun part of making the card, so there's not much problem in that. Alright, and for the black part of uh, the gloves and stuff, I just use Sharpie because it looks much nicer than crayon. You can use markers, you can simply use markers, and I also went along the edges because when I cut it out, 
some of the black parts turn to like white choppy edges and it didn't look as nice if you just go with some black choppy it looks so much closer and next let's continue on with the coloring honestly it would be the best part and crayon probably does take the longest marker would be much faster if paint i don't know how paint would turn out on this but painting would definitely be much faster not as neat but Marker would probably be your fastest choice, but then again, I don't always like the way marker looks whenever it's colored on paper. You can see the lines, but that's just my opinion. I honestly did not think that the crayon would turn out as good when I first started with it. I'm a little disappointed that I couldn't find my marker, but I'm actually really happy with how it turned out with the crayon, so I can't really say I'm disappointed. It will take a long time, but have fun with it. Listen to some music, and guys. Uh... Alright, and now you're gonna just wanna write on the card, and you can simply do this by Sharpie. You could print out, like, say, just put in a new logo and just out the letters, and then just cut the first layer that way. It will be Sharpie for time's sake. And I'm a special product, and I'm honestly. So happy with how it turned out. This is the first one I did, and it looks so nice. I'm gonna start with the stitch one, and I got a stitch and two blue paper. I went ahead and cut it out because it took a little long time, and we pretty much got this of it with the minion. And then we go ahead and color. And I did, I did a little bit of coloring for this one, but I cut a lot of it out. I'm sure you guys know how to color, so <laughs> you didn't really need that much. But the coloring was fun, and this is what it looks like, and I went ahead and I taped the ears to make the opening. Open it up, and my sister, when I gave this to her, she really loved it, so that's good. It turned out so well. So next I went on with Spongebob, and I did not do as much as that for this one either. I taped it, I colored it beforehand, get that out of the way, you know what Spongebob looks like. Get it out, and then now I moved on to the green part, and when I cut this out, it was a little bit harder because something has such rough edges, so I just did a little circle, and then I went ahead with the edges, but go ahead and go with it, and it'll turn out really nice I was all done gluing this, I went ahead and glued Spongebob's hand for the opening. I didn't glue the sides with the hand because it was, it was the farthest out and it just seemed right in. And when you opened it, it looked so nice. I like that. It's like two Spongebob holding hands, it's so cute. And so this is what it looks like. It turned out so nice. I think I love the Spongebob one the most. I'm pretty happy with all of them. I went ahead and wrote happy birthday in it again. And it's gonna made for my mom and she really likes it too. And this is just the finishing product. That was my DIY for a cute do-it-yourself birthday cards. And I really think they turned out so nice if you look at them all. So I hope you guys enjoy making these on your own and have a wonderful week. See ya!